Ooh. Oh, I can hear it. Okay, the volume's fine. And I can see OBS there picking up the video capture device. All right. Turn it up a little bit. Probably fine, though. That is a bit quiet, isn't it? How's that? Open your eyes. Is it a bit on my end too? Wake up, Link. Oh, it's Final Fantasy. Where are those doggos at? He's not wearing a shirt. Well, this does not look like my bedroom, does it? Uh, is, are we in? Is that it? Oh, wow, okay. Cool, we're playing Zelda. Okay, sweet. So I guess I can turn up the volume quite a bit. I was wondering if there was going to be like really loud cutscene music, but I guess it was just her saying hello. Um, what are the controls for this game? Also, what frame rate is this running at? What does my... It says it's picking up in 60, so it's probably fine. These these are slightly different to the Dark Souls controls, and they confuse me. Let's have a little, let's have a little fiddle around here. What does the plus button do? Save, option, the A button's not where I expect it to be. All right, don't use Amiibo. Invert horizontal camera, please. I want it to be a bit more sensitive. Aim with motion controls off. Um, fix minimap to north, yep. HUD mode, I don't know anything about that yet. Voice language. Okay, do we... <laughs> do we... <laughs> do people expect me to play this in Japanese? I'm not going to do it. We're going to play in English. We're going to have the English voices, because I think you can um, change it to... English subtitles, if you really want, but I'm not really playing this for that. Okay, how's the- Ah, oh, that's much better. Okay, can I actually make it a bit more... Very fast, okay. I kind of want to make this a bit more like, uh, Dark Souls, so I can actually do the controls. So, the B button is sprint. L... I don't know what the top L does. Okay. You press the move- Okay, I'm just trying to learn the, con the controls pretty briefly before we move through here. I have never played this game. I watched a ZFG play it for a few days around the time that it came out. Also, if the volumes are a bit quiet, let me know. I can always raise the volumes, if you like. I have no idea where this fits in the timeline. I think it's- is a Sheikah slate. I don't know, it's post-Wind Waker or something. I actually don't know which timeline it's down. Your long slumber. So yeah, I know very little about this game beyond what I watched ZFG do, and I kind of missed most of it. He was just kind of running around the overworld for a bit. I'm using a, um, in-game in the UK, they sell like a fake pro controller that's about half the price of the real one, so I'm playing with that. So we've got a little, um, Wii U tablet there. Settings of the bullet, indeed, yeah. Is the character called Zelda? Yes. I don't know if this is, I'm assuming this is one of the games where you get to, like, pretty much all the modern Zeldas you've been able to name your character, haven't you? I don't see why this would be any different. I don't know what that button does. Oh, that jumps- jump- I can jump in this game?! Oh dear, I had no idea you could jump- I guess that makes perfect sense considering all the overworld exploration. I actually- I genuinely had no idea you could do that. Because Zelda games, typically, you can't jump without, well, like abusing glitches in Majora's Mask and stuff. What's this? You got a thin shirt made a while ago. Ooh. Open inventory. Okay. Well, that's what that button does. Okay. I haven't really played too much on the Switch to begin with, so... I'm a bit crap with the controls. I'm too used to an Xbox 360 controller, so the A and B are not quite where I think they should be. I'll put on these clothes. Even if I think he does probably look better in the shorts. We'll, we'll make him look a bit more polite. I quite like his little ponytail. And it's an auto kind of climb system. So if you jump in the middle of something, it... Okay. So you can't climb on the edge of something, but you can climb in the middle of it. That's very good. And they kept the Skyward Sword dash mechanic, didn't they? Controls are a bit weird, I have to say. 
And there is this kind of strange filter around his body. I don't know how well that's getting picked up. It's kind of darkened around him. I think that's fine. Have a little examine here. We'll, we'll learn the controls and stuff as we go on. Up to the pedestal. That I always invert the... I mean, I always invert the horizontal camera in these games. I'm just used to it. It's 2018 one, and of course you can jump. Ooh. I'm actually going to raise the volume again on my end. Like, I've never, ever actually used this monitor as a TV. Here's a monitor, but it has a volume slot, and that's why I'm using it for this. My main 144 hertz doesn't have a volume meter. But, um, there's a very quiet hissing in the background, but I've kind of gotten used to it already and completely forgotten it's there. But, I'm, like, I'm looking at the OBS video preview. Everything's looking, like, really good. Like, at least what I'm streaming to you seems like pretty high quality stuff. You are the light. I'm assuming the game also runs in 30 FPS. And like the menus might be even 60 FPS, but Zelda day. typically is always 30, 24, something like that, isn't Let it? Go. I also have no idea if this game has like loading zones very much. I don't know if that was a big thing they were sorting out. What's all of this in my HUD then? So I like put everything onto this, um, I, I stuck it to north because I'm used to in Zelda games being able to... Oh, that was pretty intuitive. Okay, I didn't even have to sit and think about that. I'm always quite used to the the map not rotating. It's just something typically I'm used to in these kinds of games. Oh! Oh, it's so big! Oh, I can't wait to go everywhere and explore all of it. Oh! I quite like the music as well. I know people were, like, not huge on the music. But I'm kind of looking forward to it. I like a good, I like a good Koji Kondo. I don't know if he works on this, but he normally works on Zelda. Oh, we're gonna go to the undead church, are we? Pick up our Estus flask. And there's um, I'm not sure who he is. He's a Garo from Majora's Mask. Let's see what. Yeah, this looks. This feels thirty. I think it's fine. I think I'll get used to it pretty quickly. Um, so yeah, this is- this is Zelda. Again, first time playing it completely, so I'm looking forward to just being able to run around the overworld and have a good time. Um, I suspect in my own time, I'll- I said I was gonna try and 100% it, I still think I will. People say it'll take months, and I'm pretty happy to spend that amount of time in it. I'm probably not gonna stream all of that. I'm almost- I'm like certainly not gonna stream all of that. But, I've also heard the first, like, I don't know, 18 hours of it are fairly linear. So I thought I'll stream those, um, you know, for a bit, see how people like it, see if I enjoy it. Well, these animations are pretty sweet. Um, and just see how things go with that, basically. What, what are you up to there? Hello. Oh, it's, um, Kabora, Gabora, or the, the Lion Man, or whatever. Hello. Me? I'll spare you my life story. I'm a fool. Oh, you have lovely eyes. Goodbye. That's right. I don't know if, you know, you're gonna give us, like, some sweet gear, perhaps. Yes, I'm the strong silent type. I'm very silent. I never really talk. The Zelda of Zelda, Breath of the, <laughs> of the Wealth. It won't take months to 100%. I mean, I think I will in my own time. But um, I think I'll stream the first, like, I don't know, couple of, couple of dungeons. I'll see how things go. I also suspect in the future, if I'm just feeling in the mood, I might just stream myself running around and exploring the overworld, kind of in the middle of nowhere. Just for fun, if I need, like, a break or something. But yeah. I've been holding off playing this because I did want to stream my first experience of it. Because I really like Zelda. It's probably like my favourite series of anything, ever. In like any form of media. So I thought it'd be quite fun to just, if I ever wanted to in the future, look back at it and be like, Oh wow, I really enjoyed this game. That was cool. Do you remember when I enjoyed this game? Until I, you know, probably horribly tired of Koroks or whatever. I don't know how I'm meant to get you. I don't think I've- Oh, hey. Oh, I like this. A Zelda- like a Nintendo game where you're able to actually climb trees properly is pretty cool. Yeah, like, these these controls are actually, like, pretty good. Being able to just climb around the tree having no issue with that, I quite like. I quite like the visual effects of everything as well. Even if it is a bit framey. Um, I've heard from chat just now that apparently it's only really framey in the kind of first area, so I'm assuming it's loading a lot. I also don't know how slippery surfaces are. It's something I need to learn in a lot of 3D games, is what kind of surface you can stand on. It seems like that's kind of, like, the max. Because it's, it's useful to know, like, if you're playing Skyrim, you can walk up, basically, vertical walls with horses. Um, whereas in, like... We like Zelda, basically. You typically can't walk straight up sides like that. Temple of Time. It's just straight up the Temple of Time. They're not going to call it, like, the, the Ancient Temple or something. Just the Temple. Okay, cool. Majora's Mask is your personal favourite. Majora's Mask is a good game. Yes, that's me. Hello. I guess my name's just Link, then. I don't have voice actors. So that's probably why they don't let you name him. I don't like how I just disappear and use the Invis Watch if I look straight up. 
Have access to Sheikah's link. I've taken a picture. Okay. Which button is that button? That's in a weird location. Um, I need to just follow the Sheikah's link. Where are you? Shrine of Resurrection. I need to go here. So I need to go that way. Okay, that's, that's cool. I'm also going to raise the volume yet again. I have no idea if the volume's ever going to slightly just jump hugely. You'll probably hear it through my headphones. But uh, yeah. Banjo-Kazooie Memories of Climbing Trees. Yeah, that game is... That game is an interesting way of <laughs> climbing trees. Like, you go straight up them and then jump off the top. Oh, other cool news is I bought... I've got a double weapon. I bought a... What was I going to say? AV to HDMI converter a few days ago and it arrived today. And I tested it. And it works. So basically, it means I can play on my Nintendo Wii. And by, you know, further from that, my GameCube. And also my N64 on this capture card. So in the future, we might play some... Like, Wind Waker or something? I don't know. We'll see how things go, but... I'm quite looking forward to maybe playing some nice Nintendo 64, or GameCube games, or Wii games or something indeed, via that method. It should be quite fun. Horses are terrible when it comes to going uphill. In this game, maybe. In, in Skyrim, though, it's pretty huge. Thank you, Stay Hydrated, Mark. Never heard of donation badges, only bit badges. It's quite new. Twitch recently added a bit badge if you are the top, like, three bits in a week or something. And I can't, like, extend that to a month or anything, so, like, it's just stuck to a week. And there's also, like, a clip badge, so if you post loads and loads of clips, and they get loads and loads of views, you get that in chat, which is quite nice. Oh, you want me to go in here? Okay. How much is full damage? Oh, it's quite little. Okay. Are you gonna give me the, um... The Kakiri sword or something? Oh, yeah, I forgot. This game has, like, weapon degradation and stuff, doesn't it? Play Sonic Adventure 2 on the Sony Dreamcast code. <laughs> I own none of these things. I cannot do this. You've literally never used a horse in this game. I hear there's doggos. People have been telling me repeatedly that this game has wonderful doggos. So I'm gonna see if I can find some of those. Please watch for falling rocks. Thank you. If you can hear the audio through my speakers, let me know and I can lower them a little bit. I'm looking at the mixer. I don't think it is pulling anything through. Depends on how far you fall. Okay, so but it's not like Dark Souls where you fall like a foot and break your leg. <laughs> going on here. Oh! It's a big old tower. Oh, do I have the DLC for this game? No. No, I do not, though. I just have the game. I got it like a month ago. We've been waiting for a while for the capture card stuff to all work. Much for falling rocks. I get it. I get it. I get it. Laser monsters. Laser monsters. You're going to die a lot in the beginning anyway. Well, fair enough. Oh, am I at the top? Like, I don't have to climb the whole thing, it just puts me up there. Okay. Who is this woolen sniveler? Hello. <laughs> Great Plateau Tower. I'm hoping they didn't just use the free version of the Zelda font that someone made like 10 years ago. I'm hoping they made their own in-house, because it'd be quite funny if they did just Google it and pull it down. You're avoiding Breath of the Wild to save off some spoilers. That's pretty much what I've been doing. Like, I haven't even watched any speedruns of it. I watched it when people discovered that you could fly super far like surfboards, but I didn't- I haven't seen like any of the bosses, I think. I think I've seen, like, the elephant boss or something, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know too much about the game, just from what I watched from ZFG, basically. So I saw, like, you know, the bizarres and stuff, but... Yeah, I've been holding off, basically, to play it today, which should be quite fun. Ooh, climb down the best way you can, jump. Does it... does it work? It doesn't just respawn me at the top, does it? I mean, I do have my Rekai. I'll pr we'll probably play it in the future with some of our friends. I'll try to remember. You'll need to tell me what to remember. For the past 100 years. I am a uni student, that's, that sounds about right. I said I was going to wake up early though. Could have been longer. When the beast regains its true power, this world will face its Oh, that's the, that's the Ganon instruments. No one else uses that. He's got a big set of chompers on him. In brushing his teeth successfully, I think. Been there for 100 years and still got a full set. Good work, my friend, good work. Now then. Friday for you, you is a 50% doggo day. Ooh. You send me an eShop code to buy the DLC, will you give me your Before HUD? No. <laughs> Don't send me free things, please. I do not want them. Um, is this the timeline with the healed pharaohs? Maybe. Maybe. But yeah, we'll, we'll have a look. I basically just wanted to stream the linear parts, and then in the future, if I want to, I'll probably stream some of the, just the little adventure parts. I mean, I have to, right? They, they give you this huge tower to jump off. In what world would I be if I didn't just leap off to my death? 
Oh god, that wasn't that wasn't very violent at all. He like just slowly hit the ground and kneeled over. I was hoping he was going to like splat or something, but maybe not. Um, there we go. Let's just let's continue. My go go. I really like Phantom Hourglass. Ganon review when he's a good boy. My um Twitch my Switch friend cone is just in Discord. Oh god, there's a loading screen. Maybe I shouldn't have died. I didn't realize it was gonna like go through like a loading screen or anything. But um on my Discord on the oh I can't. Oh, I thought that was going to take me all the way down. Oh well. That's one way to get down. Yeah, it'll take me a little while to get used to these controls. They're very, um... I don't know what the word is. They're very obvious. I'd say there's not very much precision to them. Like, you make really bold movements very quickly. Whereas, you know, in other games, even just like Twilight Whoa! Princess, you kind of move very precisely in some ways. I feel like this game is very rigid in some ways, and I have to get around that. Hello. Yeah, I am quite the enigma. I like jumped off the tower and then I arrived back up there again. Hello, yes, I heard a weird voice. Dot dot dot. Ooh. Uh, you need to earn my trust, by the way. I wouldn't mind a Twitch Prime sub, perhaps. Go over there. That is Calamity Ganon. Well, they're quite small, aren't they? Little tiny Calamity Ganons. I feel like I could beat them up pretty easily. They're like guarding like one chest. All right. Yes, friend. I am very courageous. I'm not going to make my way to the castle. I'm silent. I'm Link. I don't talk. Thank you for giving me the option to not talk. My Link never talks. Yeah, we're on a plateau. We need to have some kind of floaty boy. I'd never jump off a ledge either. That would be very foolish indeed. Mm. Yes. I would love your... Give me... Hand it over. <laughs> Please. There is a free item in this world. Yeah, go. I'll go get the treasure, but please give me, give me your nice paraglider, please. I saw those in the trailer. Old man, that's very nice of you. Can I have your like cowbell, please? I'd like my stabby snabby hit sound, please. Oof. That's right. Okay, well, I don't know where I'm going. Where does where does the map say? Let's use our Sheikah slate, and not take a screenshot this time. Is it? Is it that? No, that's not it. It's not just literally right here, is it? Oh, rip! Oh, thank you. Very nice. Uh, do I just not know? I just need to go and a little explore. Okay. Stamp box. Oh, I can label the map. Oh, that's pretty cool. Okay, I like that. I like that. I like that. That's a feature that we've needed in some games. Like Twilight Princess especially, there were like random things just left around the overworld. And you'd have to just remember that they're there. What Zelda game should you play first? I genuinely would recommend, like, Ocarina of Time, just because it's quite easy to get a hold of. The game starts really quickly. There's basically one cutscene, and then you're straight into the first dungeon. Which, uh, while I really, really like Wind Waker, I think it's probably my favourite game, I do have to admit that the intro to it just does just take hours. Unless unless you're, like, literally speedrunning it. If you're doing it as, like, a normal casual pace. Oh, I'm... Okay, I shouldn't wait for the entire bar to deplete. Okay, that's a... Interesting. Oh, I did it. I did it. Okay, there. Anyway... I don't know also if people figured out the best way to run, if it's just spamming B or what, because people people thought they'd come up with a pretty good method for it, and I don't remember what it was. But yeah, like, Wind Waker takes forever to get started, Twilight Princess is quite slow as well. I can't really say anything about Skyward Sword, but yeah, I think Ocarina of Time, if you can get around to it, is quite good. Oh man! Let me in, please. How's that? There we go. Will you come to Splatoon 2? Um, probably not anytime soon. It's kind of expensive, and I don't think I'll put enough time into it to make it worth it, really. Majora's Mask's pretty fast as well, but it's also, I think, a lot... It's a lot... It's probably the, the weirdest of the Zelda games, so it doesn't really give you a good, um... A good idea, I think. I'm also... Even though I might like to sit here and watch all these cutscenes, I know if some of you have watched this, they've probably seen it a hundred times, so... I suspect if there really is, like, a million of these temple things, I'm probably going to see a lot of them anyway. I don't need to watch it every time, I think. Hmm? If you want to play a Zelda game, play Super Smash Bros. Brawl. Yeah, play the Subspace Emissary. If you whistle constantly while hammering sprint rocks. I don't think I have a whistle yet, do I? Or is that just bound to this thing? Oh man... Oh. Okay, you can give me a trial. Go on. I've played Legend of Zelda before. What's, what's a whistle bound to? I don't... Oh, what was that? It's down on the D-pad, okay. Which one's run? 
Wait, I'm just permanently running. I don't quite understand what I'm doing there. Examine. I don't know what I just did. I just put my smartphone into this into this switch. Okay. I, I did it. I authenticated it. Installing rune. Okay. Is this going to be... Like, because they forgot there's no items in this game, really, are there? They give you, like, everything attached to the D-pad, basically, don't they? You get, like, a magnet and bombs and stuff via that, don't you? Which I think would be interesting. At least a bit of a change. Magnesis. Okay, I'll figure this out. Everything keeps its uh, momentum, doesn't it? The first Zelda game's pretty hard. Yeah, we got an iOS update. <laughs> Selected rune. Oh, okay. It's literally just bound to that... Okay. I see. And then if I had other ones, I could probably switch to them via this menu. Okay. So I don't quite know what you want me to do here. Perhaps... Oh! Ah! Oh, I like that. Wait, can I smash myself on the head with it? <laughs> I can. Okay. Alright. It's good to- it's good to discover. It's good to discover. Just the first day that's slow. E. D-pad down. If you don't use a guide, you can spend all day trying to find one bush you need to burn for the next dungeon. That's basically Zelda 1, in a nutshell. I'm not- I'm oh, thank god they changed the, um, the, like, horrible health low sound into something kind of useful. That doesn't hurt my brain every time I hear it. Am I just knocking these over? I haven't seen any of the puzzles, so I'm just going to try and figure them out, but yeah. It is a Zelda game, so they should be quite intuitive, at least at the start. Because I think they're just trying to teach you the mechanics. If you see, like, a box out of place, you probably have to use that. Can I just climb on that now? Can I climb on this? Oh, no -y. I don't have, um, a weapon, young man. I also keep forgetting the run key. That's horrible. What is this key? Oh god, these controls are hot. Quite strange. I need to get used to them. You can't just, um, turn around instantly. You have to, like, do a full circle. So if it looked like I was moving a bit weird there, it's because I was trying to turn around and jump instead of this strange movement they were trying to get me to do. So you have to kind of just do it straight on like this, I guess. Please don't blow me up. No? Is that not what I'm meant to do? I'm meant to move the platform over. Okay, okay, okay. I thought it was trying to teach me the jump length. I guess I'm just meant to pick up this thing and push it over. What did you miss? Not very much. We've only been going for about 25 minutes, and um, a lot of that's just been the opening in a section. Let's do this. Can I use this to attack him? Oh. Oh, you don't do very much damage. Please don't hurt me. I'm a good man. Thank you. Oh, these, these are quite strange controls, to be honest. What am I d Help. Oh, these are inverted as well. Oh, bugger off, please. Thank you. I hear in the background. Thank you. Yeah, this is going to take a little while to get used to. These are very, very different, I think, to any game I've played. I should get used to them pretty quickly, I think. What are you up to? Oh, it's a wrinkly lady. Hello. Magnesis is a really good weapon. Okay, could I, like, smash that thing in the face with the uh, metal thing? Hmm. I say shit all the time. An epic journey of self-discovery. Ooh. Am I supposed to have a weapon by now? Oh, okay. That would have helped. Hello, old man. Oh, I guess I just skipped your cutscene. I'm sorry. Okay, so I need to get about 100,000 of those, don't I? Oh, thanks for the full health. And the nice, uh, reassuring message. Thank you. I don't like how you're like a crinkly old mummy. You'd probably, like, steal my soul, perhaps, but maybe not. Hey, everyone. Hello. What kind of TF2 or Bork Souls is this? This is, um, Minecraft. The new mod. The Breath of the Wild mod. There was a weapon at the start, but you missed it. Ah, that'll, um, that'll, that'll be a pretty good reason. Yeah, it looks like a bit like a redead, maybe. Oh, well, the next tip. Monsters on the lookout will sound the alarm if they spot you. Thanks, Zelda. There was a weapon about ten seconds outside the Shrine of Resurrection. Ho! Don't call me a hoe. Bugger off. Oh, okay, hello. That's all, that's all right. I guess compared to you, I am, aren't I? Yeah, paraglider, please. <laughs> Slow down. What? I know I've been waiting for a hundred years, but I've been out for like five minutes and I really want to go. Paraglider, please! <laughs> yeah, Sheikah, yeah, 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 yeah. 
I know, I know. Their ancient technology disappeared a long time ago. It clearly didn't. I'm holding, like, a smartphone in Zelda, and there's a little tower here covered in, like, blue goo, which is one of the most technologically advanced types of glue. <laughs> so I need more now. I said treasure, but I never said there would be only one treasure. What's- well, whether it's one treasure or four, what's the difference to a young go-getter like yourself? I'm over a hundred years old, thank you very much. I might look young and sprightly, but it's because I've been doing my yoga, so I no longer have back problems. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha. Oh, that's right. Are you joking? Don't know, homie. There's another little trick. Take a look at the map on your Sheikah sleeve. Alright. So there's blue icons. You should recognise the cave where you woke, and the tower. Okay. You can travel instantly to them. Oh! I can instantly- like, there's fast travel, this early. That's very cool. I don't know if it actually works. Oh, well, thanks. Let's try and, um, teleport to the shrine of... There we go. Let's try and go there, because apparently there's like a sword there I completely missed. I guess the upside of streaming it also does streamline the kind of the early part of the game, so I don't miss bits like this that might make it a lot longer. What you like about this game is how inventive you can get. Like, you can ask yourself, can you actually do this? Like, attacking enemies with metal blocks using magnesis, and the answer is usually yes. That's pretty cool. I like games like that. Your enter key is way too sensitive. Ooh. <laughs> Link is over 100 years old. He doesn't, he doesn't look it, does he? He's been keeping himself young. He's probably been... Probably been, I don't know. What, what keeps you young? Voting for the political side that you enjoy? Probably. Haha. -ha. So just outside, you reckon? If I do like a little hop, leap, and a jump out here, they probably should. Let go! Okay, let's just. Yep, you'll pop here. Yeah, very good. Where's the, um, the swode? What are you? Are you mushrooms or are you men? Yes, I'll take these mushrooms. Eat it to restore half a heart. Well, I'll obviously take all of these and have a little peek. So there's death. Oh, a stick! Surprisingly well balanced. Okay, here's my first weapon. Thanks, video game. Oh, it's yep. That's Legend of Zelda. Oh, we can't break the glass. Um, the grass. I guess it's because we're using like a stick. You can change weapons quickly. Press and hold. Okay, very cool, very cool. And I've got this like magic hand of greatness. Okay, cool. I can't smash. Sh maybe I can smash shrubs later when I've got an actual sword instead of these. Sticks. I didn't realise I was going to be using a wooden stick as my early game weapon. I thought it would give me like a rusty shiv or something from a prison. Where do I need to go now? There's another... We've done that boy over there. We need to do... I'm assuming it's like orange is undone and blue is done. So that's probably like a, like a camp, maybe, full of evil boys. That's somewhere we can't get to yet, I'm assuming. So I think we have to go over there, right? Maybe that's actually outside of the area we're meant to be in. I assumed it was that over there, but it might be too far away, maybe. There's a sword in the stone near the Temple of Time. Oh, that might help. Oh, there's an axe just right there. Hello, friend. Yeah, I want the paraglider. What are you? Torch. Okay. <laughs> well then, just help yourself to that torch. How are you going to use it? I'm going to set things on fire. This is rather unnerving. <laughs> Please be cautious around any dry gra uh, grass. Hmm... You know exactly what I'm going to do, though, right? Like, you're gonna give me, like, a- Wait, can I just use the tree branch? There we go. Don't mind me, just gonna do a little bit of early game FPS testing. Can I not set this grass on fire? Oh, I can! Terrific! Let's just go quickly, like, burn down the world. I oh, don't stop the burning. What am I meant to do? Made a nice little shriveled- Oh, I don't like that. She's trying to tell me, no, stop burning them. I will not allow this. Maybe there must be somewhere else we can set on fire. Can I set this- Oh ho ho! Baked apple. Ooh. I beg your pardon, that is my baked apple. What a great game. I could not resist pulling your leg. I'll pull your leg. Easy there. Oh, this isn't like Twilight Princess. I'm gonna sit next to you, yeah. You can pass time by the fire. Um, no, I want to stream, so if I play it at night, my colour settings will get crushed. There must be something else I can set on fire. Oh, it stopped, because I put it away, I guess. Oh, here we go. Yeah, let's use this giant axe. It's... weight in unbalancing is a crap weapon. Okay. And I can throw stuff. Can I set this on fire and, like, throw it at him, maybe? Poke his eyes out. 
Okay, I'm getting used to these controls pretty quickly. Holy shit, it's just like a great axe. Oh, hello. That was pretty cool. I like that. Link's like, oh man, I haven't I haven't swung an axe in like 200 years. My arm cannot take that at all. Let's let's re-equip the like tree branch, I guess. That was fun. That was a fun little exploration. Um, so I guess I'm meant to go over there somewhere. I thought there's a sword around here. I might have a little look. Is there something in in this little section here, perhaps? Like a little little secret, a little a little like bag of rupees. I'm assuming there's still rupees, right? Like I know there's villages and stuff. I'm assuming you buy stuff with rupees. They don't. They haven't changed it to like rubles or something, have they? Or you? Yeah, my tree branch is damaged. I'd like to blow up. Okay, well, never mind. That's apparently the tree branch is a crap weapon. Who'd have thought that a branch of tree would not be that useful? How beautiful. You can go anywhere on the plateau. Is the plateau just stuff I can see rather than anything else? What's going on here? I'm also going to raise the volume a little bit. I'm getting a bit confused because the volume's like sometimes really, really, really quiet and sometimes- Excuse me? I just- I can just climb up. I can just- Oh! I can just go here! I, w I wasn't expecting that. Okay, I guess I can explore literally everything in the universe. Oh, it's a choo-choo. What did I just do? What? What? Stop. I want to lock on. That's not it. Okay. Not my tree branch. Do I get his chew jelly? I get his chew chew jelly. Oh, very nice. I'm assuming I can use that to make like blue potion. I don't know if there's magic in this game. I'm assuming there isn't considering they've given you this like stick. I don't really have a very good weapon either. How do I... Well, that, that's a little bit of a weird control. How do I roll? Oh, it's... Can I not roll? Okay. Wow, this tree branch is not the best weapon in the world, is it? I don't know this little snipping noise. Oh, what are you? What are you up to? Come back here, little friend. I got his horn. I severed his horn with this tree branch. Yeah, Link even looks like, jeez. A little violent. I just wanted to do a little bit of murdering. I wasn't going to, like, tear up his corpse or anything. Oh, it's a... It's a pig. Are you a... Are you a bad pig? He's wagging his tail in a suggestive manner, so that confuses me a little bit. But Let's have a little look. I think I want to go to the left this time. I haven't really done anything over here yet. The Black Knight Great Axe look, looks pretty cool in Dark Souls 1 Remastered. It, I mean, it's a little bit like it, isn't it? More like a Dark Souls 2 weapon, if it's got that spin on it. How much of this crap can I carry? Like, I'm assuming there's like a max inventory space or something, where you can't carry just everything you want. Hyrulean Herb. Ooh. What's over here? There must be something over on this, like, giant wasteland. Like, I'm meant to blow up those bombs or something. What can I... Is there anything I can use Magnesis on? I need, like, a metal... something. What are you up to? Can I zoom in? Oh, that's what that button's for. Woohoo! What are you up to? Oh, they're, they're like masturbating us. I don't like that. Um, let's go over this way, maybe. You can climb anything as long as it's not the edge of the map. That's pretty great. Like, I'm starting to like- I've only played this game for like half an hour. It's already started to kind of sink its claws in. It's like, oh god, where can I explore next? There's so many places I could go and- Like, I know my weapon's a bit crap and I'll die if I go a bit over the top, but- I still want to just fight everything. But it's also good that I guess this- <laughs> I like the little hoo-hoo in the background. <laughs> I really like that. Um, but yeah, now we've been playing for a little while. Um, if you want, I can also raise the volume on your end of the game capture. Because right now it's set to like minus six decibels or something, so... If you want, I can raise it so the game's a bit louder, but... Louder? A weird way to say that. If, the, if you want, I can raise it so the game is a bit louder. There must be something over here, right? Like that thing over there? That like little volcano? Let's go over here. This isn't Dark Souls. Oh! A chest! Oh wait, can I just lift it out of the water? I was, I was gonna say I need to put my iron boots on. I'm assuming there's not iron boots in this game. Or if they are, they'll be like heavy armor. Oh, he's strong! You can just straight up lift chests. I want you. What are you in? I open it from behind. Amber? Oh, I'm gonna get an Aerodactyl. Okay. Let's go over this way. Infinite inventory space for materials. Only weapons, bows, and shields are limited. Okay, so I should just literally pick up everything I can, right? You're not gonna come to life and attack me, are you? Oh, I like this music. Oh, it's very chill. Are you a good boy? Ancient screw. It's made of an unknown material. No matter how many times it's turned, the threads never seem to show any sign of wear. 
I mean, I don't know about this no signs of wear thing. Like, they probably should have made the body out of whatever they made those screws out of, to be honest. A little mouldy, perhaps. Hmm. You need to be a cheeky friend. Oh dear. Hello. You're not friendly, are you? Oh god, you're gonna ask me to update my iOS, aren't you? Don't, please. J stop! Stop! Let go! Get around the corner, please. Thank you. That was horrifying. Hmm. It's an NG with the Wrangler. He's not very good, is he? I don't think my tree branch will be enough to kill him, though. I may or may not be playing chicken with a ginormous beep boop. I don't quite know what a ginormous beep boop is, but it's one of those. Don't look at me, I'm shy. I still want you to look at me, though. What's that? What are you even going to shoot at me? I don't really want to find out, to be honest. I'm going to find out later. Can I just climb over here, perhaps? Wait for my... Jabajshrine. What are these names? Are these names, like, a reference to anything? Or is it, like, a language? Or, or what's going on there? Oh, there's little, little skeletons. Okay. Crouch and open a chest from behind. It's a great idea, trust me. It must be, like, one of those touch chests, right? You just touch them lightly and they'll work. Armor is infinite, as many as there are in the game. Run, mate. You can't kill him until you get the shield or bow. Are you sure? Can I not just, like, dodge roll around him? No, I mean, I can put the webcam on if you want. But, like, I don't know. I don't know if it really works for Zelda. They're just the names of monks. Are they the names of actual, like, monks from Earth, or... Were they made up by the Nintendo writing team? Guardians, by the way. Scary Piano. Do 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 Let's have a little read. I didn't notice if anyone said anything about the audio, so I'm assuming it's fine, basically. You offer me this trial. Okay. I get it. I'll do the trial, don't worry. Bomb trial. Well, I'm assuming I'm gonna get the arrows here. What's going on? Get a jump, perhaps? No? Oh, it's this. I just need I just need to use Okay, I need to look for this in the future then. There's like a little little installation pouch. You've just discovered bombs! Ooh. I like how it's distilling and not installing, because it's like a it's not really electricity, it's chica electricity. Let me just pry on this here a little bit. Mm. There you go. You've just discovered the bomb map. I like that they gave you different sizes. I'm assuming it's because like the um, the other one rolls too much, so sometimes you want it to stay put. And that also means, I guess, that there's probably some puzzles that involve like rolling them. I hope there's like a pinball one where you have to do pinball. I would like that. Do I have infinite? Oh, it's just a recharge. Okay. And then I can switch it with... Um... That's not it. Remote bomb. Okay, so I have the square one if I just want to place it like this. I don't remember this being a, like a popular iOS app, but to be honest, I wouldn't be surprised. Oh, it's a remote bomb. Okay, cool. Wii U loads are way better. Yeah, I heard the Wii U's pretty solid for speedruns. But um, I want to play on the Switch. I'm assuming it's going to do loads of damage to me, so I don't really want to test it. I was about to, but maybe it's not the best idea. The load seems fine. I'm assuming the load will take a while if it's, um... Very good. I'm assuming it's quite easy to blow stuff up there. Oh, you can't... Oh, you can't climb on those. Oh, no. They're like mysterious Sheikah walls. Where I can't climb on them, so I actually have to do the puzzle. That's worrying. I wasn't expecting to actually have to do any... Oh, hello! Oh, they're showing me the mechanic. So I need to do that over here. So I should switch to the, um... Well, let's just put that there for now. I need to... S Jesus. I need to switch to the bull one and then just do that over here on the right, I'm guessing. They're like, hey, look, you can do all of this. Oh. Oh, it doesn't just kind of auto-fit in like Zelda games typically do. I guess you have to manually place it. That's a good thing. Is this your first time playing the game? Yeah. I watched CFG play it for a few days around the time it came out, but I wasn't really paying that much attention to it. I missed a lot of stuff. What are you up to? Can I go on there? Let me on, please. Don't hurt me. Zoom. Zoom! 
Oh, sweet. I didn't break my legs. This is Portal 3. Yes. But I'm assuming I can climb on these, right? I can't climb on these. They're not Sheikah walls, though. They're just... They're just little... Little... Legos. Pieces of Lego. Oh, that was the puzzle. Okay, they were just showing me the bomb mechanics, so... You don't get too frustrated if you want to replay the game. Can I go in there, maybe? If I can, like, glitch my way through the wall or something. Whatever, I'll just, just, I'll just accept it. Ooh, thank you for installing my app. Would you like to rate it on the App Store? Please give it a five-star rating if that's what you think. Ooh. Ooh. All right, I, I, I get it. I get it, I get it, yeah. You did it. You got the Orb of Truth. Hooray. Here is the Grinning Doggo. There is a secret in each shrine. Um, should, should, I, should I go back and do that in my own time? Or is it something I want to do now? Because I'm assuming it's like, you found some rupees. There's a chest you can get with an additional puzzle if you want to do that. I think I do, but I might do that in my own time, because I'm assuming if any of you have watched this, you've probably seen that a thousand times. So when I end the stream, I might end it like, I don't know, before I go to bed. I might play it for a couple of hours and just complete all the extra stuff. I forgot about you. I really need to get a better weapon. Can I do like a finisher? Oh, it's not Twilight Princess. I'm hoping, I'm assuming they haven't. I'd like it if they added the um, Twilight Princess sword mechanics where you could learn a bunch of stuff. I'm assuming they haven't done that though just because there's all these different types of weapons. Oh, do you just respawn? Oh, you don't respawn permanently just for a little bit. Oh, it's- Oh, I thought I was gonna pick up his arm and use that. Oh, I am gonna pick up his arm, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, sure. I'll just smack him with a- <laughs> Quite handy. Oh, I don't like how it's- Oh, look at it. Oh, it's like one of those things that you put on your head to like, like a, like a massage tool for your head. It's a bit shoddy, so don't expect it to last very long. Thank you. And a club. Who's to clobber things? Sweet. Can I put these like fangs on my weapon, like in the forest, to make them do more damage? What am I doing here? Oh, I just have a shield now. Oh, I guess I also have like a bomb. I guess I can put the bomb here. There we go. Now you can get weapons. All right, sweet. Do them on stream, and they are fun. Um, you can upload this place through YouTube. Probably, yeah. Did you also get the DLC? I didn't know. Oh, I can do a backflip. All oh, right, this is actually a good game. Now like how you missed the actual sword and just picked up the armor. Is there a sword here? Oh, you're right. <laughs> I don't know if I want to use the sword if there's just straight up an arm I could use, but. Okay, sweet. Now I, now I have like an actual weapon. I guess I don't want to burn it all up now though, so I'll keep that in case I'm in like a dangerous area. I'm just using like- oh, the arm's actually pretty good. I guess I'll just use the club for now, maybe. Are you slow? Your, your Link has like quite strong arms, isn't he? Holy shit. Just able to swing this club around like it's nothing. That's not a nice sound effect. Oh, I can do the great spin already. That's pretty good. Oh, don't blow me up. I'm a, I'm a nice man. I haven't bought the DLC or anything, no. I, I mean, it's a bit weird to buy a DLC for a game you haven't played yet, I think. Not typically. Like, if it's a Nintendo game, maybe it is a good idea, but I think typically you should probably wait and see. Like, Fallout DLCs have always been amazing, but some games they've never really added too much. I'm assuming the Zelda ones have, but I think it's a good idea to actually play the base game before you do anything else first. Sometimes they add stuff that breaks it a bit. Like, the uh, Hyper Dimension games are really good, but a lot of the DLCs are basically free, so you tend to buy the games with the DLCs. But the thing is, the DLCs always give you items that like break the game horribly, so you have to basically not use them. You pay for items you're never going to use because they break the game, which is a bit weird, so I try to avoid that. I did see that- I'm assuming not all the Zelda DLCs are like this, like some of them are like, you unlock hard mode or something, but... I didn't want to get a DLC that was just going to be like, you get the Master Sword Junior for buying this- Oh, oh the frame rate. Hello, Nibbly. Can I just throw a bomb at you? How do I lock on? Like that. Well, that's not helpful, is it? What am I doing? Oh, oh it's X. Okay. Oh, there's no staggering. I guess I guess there's no, like... <laughs> there's no, like, uh, parries or anything. Or reposts in this game. Or backstabs. Wait! There is- there is- there's a re there's a parry system? It is Dark Souls. But I also don't know the mechanics. Oh, let me do a parry. That's not parrying. Let me let me just quickly eat an apple. 
That's not how you do that. Let's just quickly eat an apple. Nom 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 nom. Nom 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 nom. Well, that goes all of my healing items. Okay, I guess shields aren't really a... They're like a bit of a commodity. I shouldn't just like waste them. Well, sorry, I can waste them if I really want. Oh, a bow. That was pretty powerful. I'm going to use your friend's arm. I'm going to use the arm. I like the arm. Smack. I quite like that. Very cool. So I should just run around and spam A on everything. You got the Boku bow. Boku no bow. Very good. Boku no here bow. Uh, wait, I have bombs. Where did my bomb go? Oh, my bomb went somewhere else. Okay. DLC adds quite a bit, but you should win first. Okay. Oh, that's not exactly what I wanted there. Let's switch off to the... What is it? It's that button. That button. The buttons are a bit weird. There's like a lot... There's a lot of stuff going on on the button system. Everything's damaged. I'll just use it until it breaks. I want to... That's not the right button. This one, and then press A. And then I run away. And then I press that button. Okay. What role are you? This is just their shit. Okay. I don't want that. I, I wanted to get, like, their cool weapons or something. I guess all these apples are nice. We did, like, waste a bunch. How do you, um, heal, by the way? Like, I'm assuming there's no heart drops in the game based off the fact I'm getting all these apples and stuff. Ugh. Can I, like, rest at the bonfire? They don't respawn, do they? I'm gonna rest at the bonfire. See if I can, like, upgrade my Estus. DLC adds difficulty in a story that after you beat the game. Okay. Was that Estus? Oh, it didn't heal me. How do I use my bow? They probably just explained it to me. Okay, I think I just did it. I don't have any arrows there, do I? How do I throw something? Oh. I found out how you throw something. <laughs> also B, honey. Ooh, cooking this into a meal unlocks the potential of these nutrients and provides a stamina recovery effect. I like that. So I should equip a... Is there like a fast equip or should I just do this menu every single time? Is there like a faster way to do stuff? Yeah, my shield's damaged. That's cool. I don't know what that is. I like that I can zoom in on stuff. That's pretty cool. They're just, they're just mushrooms. Okay. Was there anything... I guess that's the next... No, wait. That, that can't be the next. Can it? It must be, right? I can go up this mountain. That isn't outside the region, is it? I can just just run around the edge here, maybe? Parrying lasers is easier than any Bokka Blend attack. How does parrying in this game work, then? I genuinely had no idea there was going to be a parry mechanic. How do I use this bloody... Like, lock-on is the same as using a bomb, I guess, which is what's confusing me. Is there an NPC in here? That's him over there. It must be an, it must be an NPC, right? It's not just going to be an evil guy. I'm going to steal all your stuff from behind you then, and then come and say hello to you. Ooh, spicy pepper. Do you mind if I just read through your book? The Old Man's Diary. Let's read it. The only pleasure that brings me comfort is cooking. Today I dealt myself. I've created a perfect stish. I pre I made food. It's spicy meat and seafood fry. My brain does not work. I want warm doublet. I don't know what... Raw meat and a spicy pepper. I'm very old and sad. I would love a warm doublet. Okay, I don't know what a warm doublet is, but... I'll figure it out. Oh shit, I just terrorised the village. Let me just smash open these. Oh, a spicy pepper. I like that. Alright, is there like a cooking pot? There's a cooking pot here. I loosely remember this having like a really nice little ring whenever you use it. Pot lid. Hmm. Okay, I guess I'm just stealing all of his things. Let us... How do I cook? Do I need to... I remember this being weird. You have to like hold them in your hands and then throw them in, don't you? So let's... Hold. Cook. Oh! Oh! I like that. What did I do? I made simmered fruit. Oh. Okay. I guess I made simmered fruit. Do I need to stack them in my hand here? So I do select, hold... I don't know, I want like a... Spicy... Goo jelly? That doesn't sound right. Spicy screw? Sp so how about... How about just mushrooms? Is it like a mushroom stew, maybe? If I hold the mushrooms... And... Just, just those... I guess. Can I cook those? Do those do anything? Oh, I can't wait to eat some delicious mushroom stew. Oh, it works. Sweet. I played Minecraft. Oh, thank you. 
Hey, um, woodcutter boy, I stole all of your things. You're not going to attack me, are you? The weird thing is, like, discover if someone's an enemy or not. It's the same button to pull out a bomb in front of them, so it probably sets off the wrong impression. Let me just eat all of these apples in front of you. There's a lot of apple trees nearby. They don't really look like apple trees, either. Hey, friend. Hey. Oh, are you the same guy from before? God, I do steal a lot from you. I thought this tree might make for good firewood, but getting to fall where you want is an art. You've got to turn your hips so they face you and want the tree to land. You found my axe. Yeah, I found it. I'm gonna never give it back. I'm just gonna smash this tree and- Wait, you're like a tree, aren't you? Oh yeah, I need to move my hips, sorry. Ooh, how about that? I mean, he's not showing any signs of giving up. Oh! Do I- do I smash it while it's here too? Oh! That was... That was fun. I quite like that. What's that over there? I like that I can zoom in. I just figured this out by pressing buttons around- Oh, I can place a pin?! Oh, I just placed all of my- What the fuck am I pressing? I need to look at the controller. How do I, um... Select? Delete pin. Select? Change to stamp. What? Oh, there's a lot of weird little subsystems here, aren't there? Hey, Woolen Chat. Hello, everyone. Controls with Woolen. Hey! I haven't played the game. I haven't also haven't really played any Switch games beyond, like, a couple of minutes of Mario Kart, so... I'm also assuming they want you to make a bridge, right? Can I... Can I just climb that? But this seems safe. Okay. That was... That was pretty sweet. Can I go up to the top? Oh, can I knock up the tree from here? Can I chop the tree halfway down, maybe? No, obviously the tree here is immune to damage. Can I climb all the way to the top and then die from fall damage? It's probably not the best idea, is it? Is there a way to climb, like, shimmy down? I'm guessing you just have to climb all the way, don't you? Let's just- let's just fall off. It's probably not that big of a deal. I unlock this, maybe. And push him over there. Oh! Christ! I didn't mean to, like, break Link's face. Cork leaf. Can I use this to fly? Oh no, that's- that's Wind Waker. Let's eat something, I guess. Let's- let's consume some... I don't know. It's just- yeah, I guess you want to eat food and not materials, aren't you? Let's eat some baked apples. And, uh, cinnamon fruit. But I should be cooking way more than I thought. I didn't think it was like- I thought it was a- it was a sub-mechanic, like in Skyrim. I didn't know it was gonna be like something- like I need to do this for everything. Hey. Oh, I don't have anything in my bow. What's the button to shield? It's that one. Oh, I can't shield because it's a two-hander. They do kind of get stun-locked though, don't they? Ooh, heavy attack. This, the sword mechanics are actually kind of fun when you get used to them a little bit. They're quite, uh... I like the way that it kind of slows down as you hit stuff to make stuff feel like it's hitting a bit harder. A spear? I'm assuming we're gonna run out of space soon and they're gonna to start dropping the- wow. <laughs> a lot sooner than I was expecting. I'm gonna to to start dropping my, um, like, shitty tree branches or whatever. Inventory is this way. So now I need to drop, like, I don't need- I probably want some torches, don't I? What do I want to toss? Um, I probably don't need, like- oh, I'm gonna drop all of them. Oh, it's just one. It's not all of them. Okay. I guess I should just drop, um, what am I going to use? I probably want a leaf, right, for like maybe a puzzle in the future, so I guess I'll just have one of everything, and then keep these clubs just for now, and if I don't need them I can just toss them at the enemies, maybe. They really don't give you much space, do they? Can you level up the space you've got, maybe, to carry more stuff, or am I just stuck with only being able to hold like five things the whole game? Oh, Christ. I didn't know it was going to be like an instant explosion. Okay, that wasn't a good idea. Cook with wood and free. Mmm. Okay. Cooking in Zelda with wood and three. Can I just climb up this way, maybe? I'm assuming I don't have the stamina to go all the way up to the top, but I still kind of want to test. I'm fairly certain I'll just die if I do that, though. So, let's, um, let's eat this. Wait, that healed way more than I thought it was going to. I just, I had, like, no health, and now I've got way more health. Okay, great. I guess, can I... Do I want to knock down this tree instead of having to select all these apples individually? Probably a good idea, isn't it? Everything breaks really quickly. Okay. Well, this is pretty good. I guess I should just individually bake all of these apples, maybe. I don't know if there's a faster way to do that, or... Or what? Bro. I like that you can detonate them so quickly. That's, that's actually quite good. They don't make you wait, like, on, like, a delay for everything. Don't 
you... <sighs> That's worrying. So I guess I wanted to get up to the top, didn't I? Let's try and make our way up there then, I guess. I don't know if there's any other... We can knock down this apple tree, maybe. Yeah, you can level up stuff with Koroks. Okay. Okay, so I guess you, you can level up, like, health and stamina? I don't know what else you'd level up. That sounds about right. Are you gonna teach me quickly how to, like, fast bake? Oh ho ho! Hello. What are you doing? Your body is... crap. You have any tips? Yeah. There's no way to speed it up. Okay, let me try and figure out how to do that quickly then. What happens if I just hold, like, a hundred of them? And I just cook, like, five apples. You've made an apple strudel. Don't ask where the flower came from. Oh, it just stacks them together. So if I want to have like a super good healing item. Okay, so I should try and stack like two apples at a time. Perhaps and make like a couple of two health items. I guess it just stores a bit easier maybe. Yeah, okay. I'm understanding this mechanic a little bit. It also means I can just eat these apples maybe. I'm not sure. Yeah, I don't have the things yet. Is there, is there, like, critical cooking where sometimes you cook slightly better? Oh, is that what that was? It's like, I keep asking if there's a mechanic and then the game's like, yep, that mechanic just exists straight up. I was like, maybe there's a random chance sometimes that you get, like, a really good cooking item. Oh, it's just every time. It's just, it's just at least two apples, maybe. So I guess I'll just cook all of those. I have bombs and magnesis, yeah? There are websites that have every cooking option. I don't want to do that. I want to figure it out for now, at least. Oh, so maybe there is random. They're random crits. Yeah, I guess I just got lucky with random crits then. Um, what happens if I stack two mushrooms, maybe? I don't really want to waste this honey, because I'm assuming the honey goes with, like, baked horse or something. I don't know. Mushroom skewer. Okay, I'm learning. Let's, let's just put all of them in, whatever. See what we can get from that. Oh, thanks. Stay hydrated, but it has indeed been an hour. Oh, sweet. Thank you. Well, I'm learning. This is quite fun. I'm enjoying it, like, a lot so far. There's, a, there's just these little fun little mechanics. I don't know why I just whistled him. I'm sorry, I don't mean that. I guess I should light my torch on fire? Yeah, don't mind me. Just environmenting. I guess this grass is immune? No, maybe not. Do you mind? You just... <laughs> um... He just runs straight through the fire out of fear. You okay there? Are you gonna tell me off for lighting everything on fire? Oh, you did my work for me. Um, you were you were gonna. I mean, I'm not gonna. I mean, okay. Great minds think alike. Oh, I can pick up this. Oh Jesus! <laughs> Am I gonna <laughs> stab someone with a bloody fork? Let's get rid of this crap spear. Let's like throw it. Where are you? How does aiming in this game work? Do I just? Let go and it tosses. Oh, well, perhaps not the best idea. I want to. I want to use this. Yeah, let's go stab something in the face with a pitchfork. Holy shit, it's violent. It's a bit weird to me, at least coming from Dark Souls, that they've tied stamina to only movement, but like not to anything else. Like I can attack as much as I want without any um, downside. Oh, hey there. Yeah, so this is a two-handed weapon, so I'm assuming I can't... What am I just doing? What was that? Don't do that. I'm forgetting the hop button. Oh, it's that button. Okay. Stop! Let me out, please. Okay, you look. You're being a bit bullying, to be honest. Let me just sit here... Don't consume that. Eat... Um... The simmered fruit. How do I switch between targets? Okay. Wait. I want to switch to a crap weapon like this, and then I want to, like, throw it at him, right? Does the lock-on just make it hit every time? Or actually, I have to manually aim it. Okay. I don't really want- I guess I have to go up there and fight him, then. My Boku shield is dangerous. Oh, an arrow! That works. Can I just sit here and wait for them to shoot arrows over and over again and then farm them? Oh, that's a bit rude. What am I doing? That's not the right button. There we go. You were not difficult. Yeah, I can change bows. Okay. This is like a chunk of horse. Raw meat. Raw meat of what, though? I haven't seen any cows. I've only seen men. 
I'm assuming this is like man-made, perhaps. One of my least favorite kinds of it, to be honest. Can I set this on fire? Oh, I can. I can set everything I want on fire. I'm starting to. Oh, no. what are you doing? I want to set the thing on fire. Yeah, my shield's on damage. I get it. I get it. You're scary and moblin'y. Let me just go and light this thing on fire. No iframes. It needs to figure out how to dodge. Yeah, I don't know, understand the dodging mechanic in this game. Uh, let's let's re-equip. Like, that pitchfork's pretty good. Let's let's equip the, the this thing that's on fire. Ooh. Oh. I want to pick this up. No, not pick my bomb. I can't pick my bomb back up. Okay. I want to throw this and then detonate it. I want to throw it. Throw is R. It worked. Cool. Can I open the treasure chest, please? Speaking sometimes there's different music, it means it's a good recipe. Ooh. You can change arrows. Okay. I probably should be reading that, but maybe not. No, that's not the weapon I want to use. That's right. Poof. But I'm not very good at this, am I? Jeez. Can I use your arrows, at least? They just disappear when they hit the ground? Okay. Maybe there's some arrows lying around this. I don't really want to waste my bomb arrows. Maybe I do. Maybe I do want to waste my bomb arrows. I don't know how to... I didn't pay attention to when it said how to change it. I'm assuming it's left. Yeah. Fuck. Okay, that was pretty good. That was... that was pretty good. Do do do. Oh! It's, I don't like that. I wasn't... Oh god, Link does not look happy. He's like... How do I switch off of- No, 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 don't. Don't waste that. I want to switch back to my sword. Oh, I get it. Okay. I have a capture card, yeah. That's how I'm capturing off the switch. Used to be able to farm Zara that way, they patched it. Throwing spear. It's perfectly balanced to be thrown longer and pierces from a long distance. Your inventory is full. Thank you, Twilight Princess. Let's toss our- this thing... I, mean, I guess I might as well have two woodcutter's axes for now. I'll toss it if I don't need the other one. You found the throwing spear. Thanks. I, don't... I should probably stop randomly locking on like I normally do in Zeldas, because it's clearly not like the best idea, is it? And they're not going to make me climb up to the top. Okay. I, I guess I'll take the extra bows. I don't know how, like, sturdy they are, if bows will last for a while, or if I should frequently try and... Uh, get lots of them, perhaps? I'm not entirely certain. But for now, at least, I'll just run around with what I've got. I'm not exactly running into inventory issues too often. With bows, at least. What are these? Oh, these are just arrows. Okay. So I should try and... I guess I can't farm them normally that way, but I should at least pay attention to the ground when I'm near archers, and I can pick up their stuff. Sometimes. They shoot, like, five arrows, and then you can pick them up and no more. Okay. You can farm them with a shield, but you're not saying how. What, can you parry the arrows, and then they drop to the floor, maybe? Like, the first five you can farm, because that makes sense, but after that, they stop. So you don't just get infinite arrows, like, in the early game. There is no negative to maxing out your bows, weapons, or shields, so you might as well pick up everything. Okay, okay. I'm assuming there's no, like, over-encumbrance, considering they don't let you carry that much anyway. I also don't understand whistling. Someone told me, like, about whistle running. I don't understand it. Like, do I just spam between the two? Do I just do this? That seems a bit weird. Oh, you can climb there, Link. Don't worry. I know there's games saying that you're out of energy, but you're really not. You're doing good. Oh, and it's a bit chilly up here. Did I did I need to, like, mix that spicy thing with uh, something to make frost-resistant armor, maybe? Where's the other one? Is the last one up here? Is that what I said? Oh, he's a bit chilly. I don't think I have anything that'll increase your frost resistance, though, do I? Spicy, spicy pepper won't do that, will it? No, that's just health. That's just health. And all of this is just health. Okay, that's fine. What am I doing? That's not right. Was it not, like, right here? I thought that's where it was. Can I climb that? I don't think I have the stamina, but I want to try, just in case. Oh, I'm taking damage from the cold. Maybe I shouldn't be here right now. What's my cheapest one, is that? To whistle run, hold down the whistle button and mash the bat dash button. The health seems to be draining. Maybe I shouldn't be here yet. Maybe I should try and cook something a bit better. I don't know how I feel about dying before I go to the uh, next area. Uh, let's not go down there, you know? There's lots of nice places to explore, and that's not one of them, clearly. Maybe I can go into the Temple of Time, and it will be like, Hey, kid, how about you have these delicious trousers? They'll keep you nice and cozy. Mmm, great. Yeah, it seems like a good place to let go. 
Oh, you can kind of slide down. That, that makes this a lot faster. You have to read the descriptions of items to understand their effects. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know if there's like a campfire here, perhaps. There's one over there, though, isn't there? Like in the in the shade? Or is the shade over there? I don't know where I'm going, to be honest. No, oh, there you go. That's a, that's a, that's a thing. Let's go over there. I'm assuming there's like... They, they, there's no way they've just put that out of our view to like annoy us, right? They've definitely... Oh, this is... I like... Okay, this is this is a bit faster. Uh, it's, like, we can go there, right? That's not... They haven't, like, lied to us by pretending we can get there and lying, right? Also, are there, are there four shrines or three? I think I missed that bit. Do we need to pick up something to make that bridge? Are you... Like a metal bar with magnesis, perhaps? A box? I'm a bit chilly. That's not right. I want the magnesis. That's not magnesisable. Okay. Um, I, sh I really want to get some... I don't want to be here yet. How do I run? There we go. I really want to get some cold resistant stuff before I screw around here too much, in case I die. In fact, in case I die, it's probably going to happen a bit sooner than I want if I don't eat an apple or something. You can make a campfire with wood and a torch. Oh, that's nice. But you can't cook at campfires. Oh no, I want a, I want a cooking station. I want to figure out how to... What's the button? It's this one, okay. I want to figure out how to make some cold resistant gear. Or at least like food. I think you can make like a spicy... Maybe like curry or something. I don't know, like... Stir fry. <laughs> I don't know. I'm assuming there's something you can do like that. That's uh... Gives you like a bit of frost resistance so you don't just instantly die the moment you go in there. Because they're clearly holding us off. Like maybe I can go in there and make it if I knew exactly where I was going. But I'll probably need to explore a little bit. So I need a bit more resistance than that. I quite like this. Like... Cross running. What's the button? It's that one. You have to. Do that. Can I just smash this against a wall quickly to pick up the new one? No? Okay. No worries. Is there anything in here I want yet? Or is this like just before I go do anything in the plateau? Are there any like good pieces of loot perhaps here that I might want? What was I got a chest to? Okay, no, there, there, was, there were some pieces of loot that might help. You can't make meals that you can separate things so it doesn't work it. Traveler's bow. Okay, that's that's very handy. I'm not wondering if there's like any other bits and bobs around here I might want. Or is that maybe it? How, how do I run again? It's like you hold out the whistle and then spam this button. Okay. I pray. Oh, hello. I'm praying, I guess. Ooh, you are now chili resistant. Ooh. You need four spirit orbs. Return to me. Is she going to give us a heart container? Like, hey, there's no dungeon this in this game, but kinda, you know? Where's the nearest um, bonfire then? I'm assuming it was just that one where the old man was, but there might be... No, it must be. That's, that's the closest cooking room, isn't there? Magic. How do I make a, a chili thing? Because he said you need like a chunk of meat, which I found, and a... Oh, are they... Like Zubats. How do I attack the Zubats? Oh, I'm out of... Uh, let's just use this for now. Let me switch back. Oh, I guess this is actually the shittest weapon we've got. It's like that and the Woodcutter's Axe. And I've got their eye. Oh, they are keys. Okay. I didn't know keys were Cyclopses. Okay. I probably don't want to be cooking with those, do I? Follow your- make chi make Link follow your chili resistant video. Is there, um, spiced rum in The Legend of Zelda? Also, can I get over there? I can't tell if that's on the plateau or not. I don't know how big the plateau is, I guess is the issue. I don't know where I'm meant to explore and where's, like, out of limits. Like, that looks like it should be within the plateau, right? They wouldn't just put it there and say, no, it's slightly out of reach. Let's try there and then come back maybe and do the, the chili area, perhaps? Only use axes for trees, really. Okay. I'm just equipping it for now because it's my worst weapon and I don't really want to waste it on these enemies. I also don't really know how to dodge. That's not the right weapon. Yeah, they're not, it's not a very good weapon at all, is it? It's kind of slow to use it. Oh, hello. They get one shot. Oh, these are the boys who I've got their arms. I've got your arms, haven't I? I want to. It's been telling me my shield's been dead forever, but it's never actually gotten me to get rid of it. 
I want to attack them just to farm sword. One of them had a sword last time, didn't he? Or at least your arm. I'll have your arm. That'll do. That's all I wanted, really. I'm going to try going this way, I guess. Read the description of your materials, including the peppers. Cook it with it to create dishes that will raise your body temperature and risk down the cold. But what do I cook with it? Do I just cook it with the... Didn't I find like a... Ch oh, seared steak. I guess I can't cook with them, but the food. Do I just cook with a spicy pepper and an apple, then? That might... That might work. Okay, I'm gonna go this way anyway. I'm assuming this is... We can teleport back anyway instantly, though, can't we? Which I'm actually gonna do. Ignore that. I'm gonna go... Capture taken. I'm gonna go back to the... Shrine of Resurrection, is that right? River of the Dead? That's... Yeah, that's right. I wanna, I wanna be in this chilly area. So I guess I wanna be here. And then cook some spicy apples. Can you mix spicy apples? Just cook all the peppers at once. Okay. You're not saying anything more on that you need to discover. Yeah, I like discovering. It's a good, it's a good, it's a good one. You're in the middle, are you in the middle of Breath of the Wild? You're about like an hour in or something. We've just been fiddling around with stuff. You can cook them all at once. Oh, it's just the pepper cooked by itself. Like baked pepper. Is that just, is that just, is that just it? Like you don't need to make it with any ingredients. I don't know if this is a particularly good teleport spot. I feel like we have to climb out here every time and it's not very time efficient. Maybe it is though. A little hop, skip and a jump. It's a bit weird that jumps bound to such a weird key. Every You think bot fly and think it's horrifying. I think of um, bottom of the well every time I see it. Watch too much speedrunning, I think. Where was his camp? Is that? I want to go to his camp then. I want to get some chili resistant stuff and then brave the cold, perhaps. I don't know if chilies respawn or where I actually got them from in the first place. I think I just stole it from his house, didn't I? Why are we oofing? More of an item the longer the effect. Okay. Let's have a little chat. Oh, ho, ho, ho. How's your endeavor? It's great. Oh, no, this isn't a cooking pot. This is just a campfire. I want a cooking pot. Oh, I completely misunderstood that. Oh, is this campfire like miles away? Do I have a teleport near his campfire? I didn't take a screenshot or anything. Eastern Abbey. Well, I like this map. Where am I? I died there, Rib. Where is your cooking? Was it in the forest, maybe? Hopper Pond? It doesn't, it doesn't really tell me where to go at all, does it? I just have to work it out. Uh, maybe I'll go into the forest. There must have been like a cooking pot in there, right? If I go this way? That's where I just was, wasn't it? And now, maybe I can use- maybe there's a cooking pot next to those... Moblins or whatever they are. Um, no thank you, Gonko. Thank you, though. Ooh, pick up these mushrooms. Yeah, I get it, you're spooky. Should I kill the boar, maybe? And use them? You can, like, have cooked boar or something. Horrible. What's that behind me? Is it a zombie? Oh, ho, ho, ho! Hello! Yeah, well, well, well. What are you doing? My back is aching. Yeah, I, I agree. Okay. Cool. Let me find something I want to set on fire. Torch. Let's do that. Let's try that. Little hoo-hoo in the background. So I guess I want to cook together a... I don't want that tooth. Did I just put a tooth in my hand? No, I don't want a tooth in my hand. I want to I wanna just cook these two and then have a single one as another one, maybe. Mark the cooking pots with stamps on the map. That's smart. Five minutes. Oh, sautéed peppers. Sautéed in what? <laughs> Alright, sure. So I guess this is like two minutes. Thirty? Two and a half minutes of, of cold resistance? Yeah, that's, not, that's, that's good, okay. Uh, where are we? Where's the map? It's this, it's this button. Let us put a stamp here with a... Make garlic pot. bread. That's it, probably. Let's do that. And let's do it until morning, just so I can stream during the day. Where's the garlic bread, mate? Oh, hey, Morphine. That's a, that's a year-old reference. I actually kind of miss that. I used to cook a lot with garlic bread all the time, just because it was nice, and I was a student, a very early student with much exper without much experience. So it's quite fun just to shove, um... It's quite fun just to shove garlic bread with everything, basically, because it was nice. I wasn't really used to that. 
I've kind of stopped doing that, mostly just because it was a bit weird. But no, I kind of want to do it again, really. What do I want to cook? I'm just going to quickly cook a bunch of random stuff before I go and adventure then. Can I skip this cutscene? What button is X? It's the top one. Of course. Uh, amber, tooth, a bunch of other stuff. Okay. Two shrooms? Let's make like a skewer or whatever then. Oh, yeah. It is just a skewer, okay. So now I want to go to the cold area, I'm guessing. Um, unless there's something in, in this little tree root here. What, what are you? Oh, I've played Wind Waker. I know exactly what I need to do here. No? Oh, I thought this was going to be a... I guess I just have to, like, set it on fire then. That's a shame. I was assuming this was going to be like a, hey, have you played The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker yet? How about you try and, um, burn these leaves. Like, blow them away. Hoo -hoo -hoo -hoo. I guess instead we're just going to hope our torch lasts long enough to run over there. Oh, you can't run with a... Okay. I guess I'll just walk there then. Who's... what? Hey, capture card delivery. What did I just... Oh, for, okay. I pressed the B button like it's every other Zelda game instead of it this one. You'd think I would have learned by now, but I'm really not getting used to the controls very quickly. I'm not used to the switch. The switch feels like it's got very strange button layouts. I don't know why they changed it to be like this. Like, instead of having A, B, X, Y where they were on, like, the GameCube controller or whatever, they had it in, like, some weird new way that didn't make any sense. There we go. What are you? Oh! It's a- it's a Wind Waker Korok. Oh, it's just called a Korok. Okay, hello. Uh, oh no, yeah, I, I know, I, I already knew that. <laughs> Children of the Forest. Okay, you're also Minish as well. I also got one of his testes, okay. My friends are hiding around the world. It's gonna take you six weeks to find all of us. Oh no! <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I remember this. Oh. <laughs> Twee hee. Oh. Hello. You're adorable. <laughs> ouch. He didn't say ouch to the sword, but he said ouch to the bloody leaf. Don't ever talk to me. Or my son, ever again. I love you. You're adorable. I'm spreading my seed throughout the world. Okay, well, you know. Good for you, young Korok friend. I'm gonna go to the mountains then. Oh, what are you? Are you just the the guy? How the? That must be him, right? He's not. He's not gonna. I'm not gonna run up to him. And he's gonna be like, oh, have you tickled anyone yet? It allows you to pick up four tickle seeds that you can use to upgrade your stamina. Where did your prey go? How's the shrine exploration going? I'm hunting here. Oh, is it like Wind Waker? So you have to be very, very quiet and go all the way into the tree. That's not what I wanted to do. Ooh. Yeah, I get it. You're hunting the boar because he's all boary and great. Boring. I'm going to go in here. Is there like a piece of loot? Maybe? What are you? Who are you? Oh! Okay. Um... Are you a coral? Um... Okay. Oh, it is, it is a, it's a coral. Okay, hello. Yahaha! Ha. Bye. Okay. Hey there. <laughs> I like them. I like them quite a bit. Quite nice having an actual sword as well. What were you hunting? Were you hunting the Korok? Did I just like steal the seed that you wanted? Oh, that's a. Yeah. All right. What do I want to do? I'm just gonna go up to the mountains, which was this way. Yeah. I'll just walk. Whatever. What is it actually? What what direction is it? I want to go southwest, west, southwest, something like that. So I'm going to go in this direction and see what I find, maybe. Oof, ouch. Tweehee. 
They're pretty good. They're good. They're good little 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 friends. Oh, it's a it's an it's an ancient Hylian boar. Be very quiet. Okay, where's he gone? I wanna I wanna kill him now. I don't know why I wanna kill him, but he's just killable. Am I about to be like ambushed? No? Okay, it's just a clearing. Wooly no bully. Oh Christ! Hello! I'm on a stone tower. I am about to be ambushed. Okay. Do I need to attack the thing on your back, maybe? That's not the right button. How do I equip the bow? There we go. Can I kill you? Are you like, are you killable? Or are you like late game? That's not the right button. I just want to equip the bomb. Just give me a sec. Like that, yeah. Can you walk over to here, please, and fall on it? Where did it, where did it go? Wait, if I get him to spin around and then do a ground pound in the other direction, do you think he'll, like, expel his rock on, like, in that direction, maybe? That one shot me? Excuse me? Okay, sure. Your other attack did, like, one heart. I was not expecting that. I don't own Odyssey, no. That was a bit mean. I, I th this is totally not scripted. I'm going to pop out of nowhere and destroy you. Hmm. A very slow man. I thought he was only going to do like a heart or two. Like his previous attack didn't do any damage to me. I didn't realise him throwing his fist at me was going to hurt me. Is is there a button to roll in this game? Because I was I tried to roll like much, much earlier. And I didn't quite know what I was doing. Oh, he just I just respawned next to him. That's a little rude, isn't it? Can you perhaps put me somewhere safer where there's no stone talus? The, like Pikmin thing that murders all your Pikmin. Wait, can I go? Maybe he is fightable. Like, I have infinite bombs, right? Hey, everyone. Yeah, I'm having fun. Thank you. Can I... You can't hit me up here, though, can you? That would be stupid. How do I... That's not the right button. I want to equip this. That's not right. Oh, he can't hit me. Okay. Oh, oh, okay. No, you can. You can hit me. That's all right. Maybe I should just give up this attempt. How do I... Oh, I want to, like, run up his side when he does that, maybe. How do I dodge roll? Okay. Do I just climb up you as if you were, like, a, a rocky boy? That's not the shield, though. Oh, there's no iframes. <laughs> I try to dodge through him like he's a Dark Souls boss. Like, jump through him in the middle of my roll. No hiding for you. You can deal with him more easily. I'm assuming I can, like... Can I, like, freeze him? Yes, climb him. Okay, I meant to climb him, just attack him with my sword. Instead of throwing yourself at enemies over and over again, try cooking special dishes. I'm not gonna do that. Right now, at least. You're not just gonna respawn me on top of him again, though, are you? Oh, you are. Okay. Let's climb him this time. I guess this is one way to learn the controls of the game. Can I run through your... How do I roll? I ran out of energy, shit. Don't mind me, stone boy. I just want to attack, like, with your fist in the ground so I can easily climb up you. It's a bit like Shadow of the Colossus, isn't it? This must have been a pain to program. Oh, I can just attack with my sword. Okay. Oh, and he's got a health bar up there. And I don't have stamina, so I can just sit here and spam repeatedly, I guess. Guess the pitchfork. And then I just climb him again. I get, maybe I could throw a bomb at him and it's a bit faster, but... I'm having fun doing this. Yeah, I just break all my weapons on him. That's smart. I get maybe this does more damage if I throw it, based on the name, but... Maybe it just means that it's more throwable than a normal one. Excuse me. Don't just slap me, please. I want to eat this uh, mushroom skewer, yeah. Let me just run underneath him, and then through this little peak here. No? I want to climb up your arm. Where am I? I don't want to be in front of you. You always hit me with that. He seems like to not be able to hit stuff that's directly in front of him. I do feel a bit like a Pikmin, don't I? Like climbing this big old rock boy. 
how the hell did they even program this? But there's so many different things that could go on. We're countful. Probably should climb your arm there, but instead of just hop up here. And then attack him like it's a... I really like... This is like a fun little mini-boss, actually. Just hit him with the thing over and over again. I'm hoping I have, like, enough weapons to hit him. I can't just, like, punch him with my fists over and over again, can I? Let's just climb him. Yeah, maybe bombs were faster. But that is... I like leaping backwards. That's pretty cool. My arm broke. Shit. I need that. The woodcutter's axe. Oh my god. I'm running through all my weapons. Thank god I have, like, a full inventory. This would not have been a... If I'd come to him right at the start where I had, like, nothing, this would have been hell. Um, I took damage. Please don't punch me, friend. See, look, I'm friendly. See? Like, oh. I have no idea where I am. Hello? Thank you. Let me up him. Thank you. And we just do this. Over and over again, eventually. I'm assuming this is better than the leaf, at least. Oh, there we go. We did it. Yay! Yay! He dropped a bunch of... Rare ores? Oh, okay. Maybe this is useful for, like, selling or something. Sweet. Okay. I also don't have any weapons anymore, so I need to, like, murder some people. Great. Hammers do more damage to rocks. He's just letting you destroy the tumor on his back. That's basically what happened in, um... What was it? It wasn't... It wasn't Twilight Princess, was it? Hey there. Oh, you're not a friendly. You're not friendly at all. You just... I thought you were, like, shy. Oh god, they know how to go left and right. He's not a gibbous pig. Oh, you are. You're a... like a... bloody pigeon or something. But aiming is not easy. He just dropped two... <laughs> two drumsticks, excuse me? Really? Oh. I don't want that. What did you expect for him to drop me? I thought he might have dropped like a trez... like I thought maybe he had like a core. And his core was made out of, like, a ancient weapon that was, like, evil or something. Why is this all fiery? Okay. I thought he was going to drop, like, a like a chest a chest with a with a basic weapon in it or something. I didn't realise he was going to do that. Is there any way to get up to the plateau from here, or am I going to run out of stamina if I try it? But, oh, also, are there, are there secret walls in this game? I'm assuming there's not, but there's no, like, there's not, like, little plateaus that I want to bomb open, are there? Like, um, Ocarina of Time had the grottos. Are those, are those in this game? Should I be looking out for bombable walls and, or, and stuff? I'm assuming there is. Like, that seems like such an obvious thing to add this to this kind of game. But like in the cliffside to my left, are there little grottos that I should try to look for? Stop whistling, please. I'm assuming the stamella shroom is for stamina. Can I crouch here to get a bit more sight? What are they up to? Do they have like a bomb I can... Wait, I have, a, I have bomb arrows, don't I? That's not it. That's it. Let's, um, do that. That not work. Did you not notice the... Okay, let's try this. Ex excuse me? I can't see bollocks. Well, that's a little rude. Don't toot me. Stop. Two, three, four. They do that to let you know that soon you'll get a bow that does a bit more damage, which is probably the one I actually have. I need to... That's not the right button. Oh, there's three of you. This is troublesome. I've worked out... Oh, I guess I just have to backflip. There's no, like, side rolling. It'd be a bit weird if you had to side roll, I guess. I need to backflip through all your attacks, maybe? Is that how that works? That makes a bit more sense. Oh! Flurry rush? Excuse me? Hello? <laughs> It's Dynasty Warriors. <laughs> I had no idea the game had that kind of mechanic in it. That's awesome. I can do a jump attack. Okay, the, the game is a lot more in-depth than I thought in the attack. Can I do like a backflip super spin? Not really. That's very cool. Come back here. Don't run off. I'm discovering the mechanics of the game. Don't run to your... God, they're smart as well. They're like, oh, no, I'm not going to win this battle. I'm going to run away. You know what, I'm gonna leave him. Go tell, go tell your friends what happened to him. I'm gonna pick up his weapon. That was pretty cool. 
What are you up to? I don't need any more shields. I'm never going to use it anyway. What are you? 